Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Tano. So thank you very much for giving me uh, this opportunity. Uh, today, I'd like to focus on a recent topic uh, in the collective of cultural genesis, uh, the selected pathway entitled the uh, endoscopic features and the genetic alterations of a sessile salad region, SUSA, and traditional salad adenoma. In 1962, uh, Professor Molson, a famous pathologist, uh, classified a colorectal tumor into hyperplastic polyp and adenoma. And uh, he described uh, hyperplastic polyp is a non plastic region but uh, later studies have shown that uh, some hyperplastic part is recognized as a precancerous region. And here is an uh, update for uh, WH recent classification. The change uh, since 2010, uh, HP uh, now divided into uh, two subtypes, uh, goblet cell rich hyperplastic polyp and uh, microvascular hyperplastic part. And uh, sessile salad uh, lesion with a dysplasia is now sessile salad lesion with dysplasia instead of the cytological dysplasia. And also the uh, new concept, such as a superficially uh, selected adenoma, have been introduced. So this slide shows the schematic last uh, lab pathway. VLAF is uh, located uh, downstream of the KLAS museum, and uh, both abnormality promote the tumor growth activity. And uh, both genes are important as uh, early genetic alterations in the selected pathway. The mechanism of the uh, selection uh, is understand uh, in this way. Uh, in the normal gland uh, cell that develop at the base of the uh, gland and migrate upward while maturing, and uh, then shed through the uh, apoptosis. In contrast, uh, they are in hyperplastic part, abnormality of the uh, sulcatus and the BLF gem uh, leads to increase the cell proliferation and uh, at the base of the gland, and abnormal shedding uh, mechanism resulting in acceleration. So this slide is showing uh, so uh, subtype of the hyperplastic part. The hyperplastic part uh, is subclassified into uh, so two type, uh, microvascular hyperplastic part and the goblet cell rich hyperplastic part. So the uh, microvascular hyperplastic part is uh, selected from the uh, uh, middle to the upper side and uh, so located on the right side, dominant tree, and uh, so BLAF uh, mutation uh, is often occurring, and uh, it's uh, recognized as a, a precursor of the sessile selected region or sometimes traditional selected adenoma. In contrast, the goblet and uh, cell type has superficial uh, selected future and uh, so uh, abundant uh, goblet cell rich uh, cells can be seen and is located on the uh, left side dominantly and the uh, so has a careless mutation uh, oftenly and it's uh, uh, considered a uh, precursor uh, of the traditional selected adenoma now I would like to show the uh, so hyperplastic polyp taken by the endocytoscopy. Uh, there is no uh, bezel on the surface, and the uh, uh, after staining, uh, you can see the uh, so uh, star-like pit on the surface. And this is uh, so uh, endocytoscopy with zoom magnification. Uh, you can see the uh, star-like pits and uh, small cells. But uh, so uh, microvascular hyperplastic polyp and uh, so goblet cell rich hyperplastic polyp uh, difficult to uh, differentiate due to the uh, both having uh, so uh, selection on the surface uh, layers. So it is so that the mutation of the BRAF gene in the microvascular hyperplastic pulp 
cause abnormality in the position of the proactive zone here. And it so that cause uh, dilatation of the uh, glandular structure and invert the T-like uh, shaped structure changes. In uh, 2019, so WHO changed uh, the pathological diagnosis criteria uh, to diagnose a cellular lesion in the presence of the even uh, one glandular duct showing these future it should be diagnosed as a sessile cellular lesion. So endoscopic findings are uh, sessile cellular lesion including a mucus cap, open type to pit, the cloud surface, and the dilated the blanching bezel. However, the uh, low diagnostic uh, sensitivity is uh, one of the problem. So therefore, we removed the cellular lesion more than 6 million size uh, showing genetic type 1. So I showed you uh, one interesting video using uh, acetic acid. And acetic acid induces uh, so temporary uh, chemical change to the surface uh, called the acid whitening reaction, as you see. The difference in the reaction helps to the uh, difference between the uh, normal and neoplastic mucosa. The optical absorption property uh, of the FTR cells can be altered by uh, acetic acid. As you see, the, uh, for the reason uh, this NBI uh, may potentially reveal the white areas as uh, more whitish than the uh, white light endoscopy. They also, uh, so these three, uh, so there have been reports uh, on the usefulness of the uh, AI CAD for the detection of the uh, sessile cellular lesion. So this is an uh, end brain eye. As you can see, the sessile cellular lesion uh, identified into the circle, uh, so a square. And the uh, switch to NBI, you can see the uh, so cloud surface on this, on this region, and uh, there's no uh, particular vessels so that this diagnosis has a sessile cellular lesion. So this is uh, showing a genetic alteration and a cellular lesion with a dysplasia on the cancer. And recently, somatic RNF43 uh, mutations in uh, about 18% uh, of the sporadic colorectal cancer are strongly associated with a microsaturated instability and the APC mutations. So uh, uh, it's believed uh, so that uh, this pressure is caused by mutation in the RNF43 gene in the cessile-selected lesion. So next, uh, I'd like to uh, talk about the traditional selected adenoma. The concept of the traditional selected adenoma was reported by Lo Nangle and Fenogrio in uh, 1990. And uh, it includes uh, so, uh, two subtypes, uh, flat and uh, polypoid type. The polypoid type of traditional selected adenoma is characterized by the pine cone like morphology and uh, histopathologically, uh, eosinophilic uh, cytoplasm, uh, street like uh, selection, and uh, adenomatous stroma uh, with a basal proliferation observed. Flat type uh, traditional selected adenoma shows uh, uh, type 2 like or 3H, uh, it means a fawn like pit pattern. Although these uh, type traditional selected adenoma may not be diagnosed by the GI pathologist sometimes, but I believe these uh, selected regions should be resected endoscopically. But now, uh, what are the precursor region of the traditional selected adenoma? Some investigations show the, uh, so there are several pathways for this uh, lesion. Recent reports have shown that uh, goblet cell rich hyperplastic polyp uh, can be transformed to a traditional solated adenoma. And in this case, uh, so showing uh, the traditional solated adenoma occurred in the middle of the uh, so, uh, goblet cell rich hyperplastic polyp. 
And also, uh, recent studies have shown the uh, sessile cellulite region can migrate to a traditional cellulite adenoma. In this case, uh, so uh, the traditional adenoma uh, occurred at the edge of the uh, sessile cellulite region. Recently, a uh, concept of the superficially cellulite adenoma, SUSA, has been reported. The definition of the SUSA is a previously unrecognized type of colorectal pipe that has a mixture of both uh, conventional adenoma and the cellulitic morphological features. This is the pathological uh, features of the SUSA. SUSA is a region with a cellulitic feature, uh, superficial sub here, and uh, tubular adenoma in the lower two sides here. And it is so that the KLS mutation and uh, so RSPO fusion uh, involved in this region, and it is considered to be a precursor region of the traditional cellulite adenoma. Endoscopic features of the superficial cellulite adenoma is a polypoid and flat, and show the same type two or three H pair pattern as the cellulite region. In addition. 90% uh, of the uh, SUSA are located in the left sided column, and uh, it may have been previously diagnosed uh, endoscopically as hyperplastic part, but histologically as adenoma. It is a clinically resectable region, and further studies uh, on this region are needed. As I mentioned before, uh, there are two uh, types of traditional cellulitic adenoma, uh, BRAF derived or KRAF derived. The BRAF type is often associated with a hyperplastic polyp or cellulitic lesion, uh, while the KRAF type is often associated with a superficially uh, cellulitic adenoma components. Progress of the cellulitic region in the right sided column and uh, summarized uh, in this uh, schematic slice. A high percentage of the uh, BRAF gene mutation are involved, uh, resulting in the so, cellulitic region with uh, dysplasia. And uh, so RNF43 uh, gene mutation result in the cellulitic region uh, with uh, dysplasia and uh, microsaturated instability high colorectal cancer. Cellulitic pathway in the left-sided column uh, is somewhat uh, complex uh, due to the presence of the many uh, hyperplastic parts. The most frequent pathway is a mutation in the BRAF and the RNF43 gene cause uh, protruding type of traditional cellulitic adenoma which progressed to the uh, microsatellite instability stable colorectal cancer. There is also a pathway uh, in which mutation, uh, the KLAS gene and the RSPO fusion uh, leads to the development of the SUSA and uh, progress uh, to the MSS uh, colorectal cancer via traditional cellulitic adenoma. In addition, uh, although uh, there, uh, but uh, there is a pathway in which a BRAF mutation in the left side uh, microvascular hyperplastic polyp leads to a uh, so -so sexual cellulite lesion, and which uh, in turn leads to a uh, traditional cellulite adenoma leading to colorectal cancer. In this summary, ladies and gentlemen, uh, so cellulite pathway can be classified into a BRAF type and KRAS type. Some hyperplastic polyp are sought to lead a microsatellite instability high colorectal cancer and a microsatellite instability stable colorectal cancer, beer, cellulite lesion, and uh, so traditional cellulite adenoma. Therefore, it is necessary to accurate diagnosis to treat a cellulite lesion endoscopically to uh, prevent uh, colorectal cancer. Thank you very much for your kindness attention today. I hope to see you all again soon. 本日はどうもありがとうございました。